There are two main ways to find the ionic charge for fluorine. The first, we can look at trends on the periodic table. The second is we can look at electron configurations. Let's take a look at the periodic table here. And we can see from the periodic table that we have these trends for charge. Group one, one plus. Group two, they're all two plus. Skip the transition metals, except a few that are always same charge and some of the post transition metals. Then we go down three minus, two minus, one minus, and then zero for the noble gases. And here is fluorine right here. And it's got a one minus ionic charge. We normally write the minus sign after the number for ionic charge. It's just convention. So we put a minus up here. We could put one minus or we could just put minus. That's the ionic charge for fluorine. To write the electron configuration, let's remember that fluorine has an atomic number of nine. That means just for F, for fluorine, it'll have nine protons, then it'll also have nine electrons. So we need to remember that. To write the electron configuration for fluorine on the periodic table without that charge there, just for fluorine, we would write 1s, 1's the first energy level, we have our s orbital and we can put two electrons in that. That's full, we go to 2s, that can hold two, and then still in the second energy level, 2p. Remember, we needed nine total electrons for fluorine. So we have two plus two, that's four, plus five, that gives us nine. So this is the electron configuration for just F, fluorine, as we find it on the periodic table. When we look at this configuration, we can see that the second energy level, this right here, we have seven electrons, seven valence electrons. If we get one more, that'll give us eight, which is really stable. That's like the noble gas neon. So fluorine, that'll tend to gain one valence electron. So if we put that electron up here, just gained it, that would mean that we would have 2p6. And that is the same as neon on the periodic table, very stable electron configuration. So when fluorine bonds to other things like sodium or calcium, it tends to gain an electron. So whether you look at the periodic table here and memorize the trends for ionic charge, or you use electron configurations, the ionic charge for fluorine is one minus, or just F minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.